Hey, I'm John Cannell. Today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making French toast casserole. Let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need a big loaf of bread, and you can use any bread you want. A little bit of salt, some cinnamon, and extra spices that you love. Eggs, vanilla, brown sugar, some cold butter, and milk. First up, we're gonna cut the bread, carefully. So you want like one inch sized pieces, does not have to be exact. I feel like every breakfast recipe is really a like bleary eyed, like what's happening, who needs to eat situation. So it should be very forgiving like this recipe is. All right, I'm just going to give these a cut into cube-ish sized pieces. One thing that's nice to have for this is a sharp serrated knife. I'm gonna tell you a secret. So the last time that I made this, uh, I photographed it for the blog, and I was making like five different things at once, and uh, somehow the timer did not get set for that, and my French toast casserole baked for nearly an hour, which is way longer than the normal time, still tasted pretty good. It was that forgiving. It's a little bit crisper on top than it normally would be. Alrighty, that's looking good. In case you're wondering, I have Feed the Birds Tuppence a Bag stuck in my head. Mary Poppins, classic. By the way, like if you have some day-old bread or stale bread, this will work. You know that stale bread works well for recipes that are gonna get soaked in a custard, like bread pudding. Mm. Bread pudding is like one of my childhood favorites. Uh, I actually have an upgraded bread pudding on the blog. And you can let me know in the comments if you want me to make a bread pudding video because it's one of my favorite things to eat, especially in the fall when it's like a nice comfy, cozy, really easy food to make. Okay, I didn't cut myself, but the bread is all cubed up. We're gonna set this aside and make an easy custard. So just grab a big bowl, center it for your camera. <laughs> Gonna measure out one and three quarter cups of whole milk. That's 370 mils. I like to pretend that I'm Mary Berry when I say mils, in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, pour that into your bowl. This recipe requires six large eggs. That eggy custard is gonna give you a lot of richness and hold everything together. Mind the shells. Ooh, these are beautiful eggs too. I can always tell because the yolks are like extra golden. I'm very paranoid about getting a shell in here, but it didn't happen. I was uh, baking with Lachlan and George this weekend and it was really fun, but I did have to like strain the wet mixture and get the shells out afterwards. Um, it all worked out in the end. Okay, so now we have... All right, I want almost a table, almost a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon to be exact, of cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of salt, just for a little bit of contrast. Mmm, one and a half teaspoons, measured exactly, of a nice vanilla. One quarter cup, which is like 60 grams or so, of packed brown sugar. I'm not a fool because I knew it was gonna plop in and splash me. Not today. We're gonna give this a quick whisk. And so like, if you're looking at this and you're like, um, this looks delicious, but I'm not gonna do all this in the morning. Um, I understand, because I'm kind of like a, a little dragging in the morning person myself as well. So what you could do is make the custard the night ahead, just pop it into the fridge. You could cube this and just cover it. Like put it, in, even put it in your casserole dish and just cover it. And then do the next step as well and have it all laid out and ready to bake in the morning. I know you're not zooming in on that thing I spilled. <laughs> no. That never happened. There's one more component and it's a brown sugar topping which makes everything delicious. I want one more quarter cup of brown sugar like about that much. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. 
Okay, just work it together with your fingers. You could whisk it up, but whisking brown sugar is not fun. <laughs> it's like whisking little clumps. This, however, is nice and perfect. Mmm. This is reminding me of my sticky buns video. Okay, one last whisk. And here's the deal. This butter is gonna get dotted on top. If your butter's kind of soft, you can use the paper, just like Ina does, and just lightly butter the inside of your pan. Just like that. This is not like a cake where it has to release perfectly, it's just to help it not stick so much. Okay, that's good. So let's clear this stuff out. This is a nine by 13 inch pan. We're gonna say hello to our bread again. Hi bread. Now we're going to just add that bread into the custard. You could think of this like a sweet egg bake. I always so, like forget what the name of the savory egg bake is, but then it'll come to me. It'll come to me. You let me know in the comments if you know the name. It is, oh, Estrada. <laughs> Good thing someone whispered the answer from afar. It didn't come to me. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my fingers because honestly, that's the easiest way to get nice coverage. We don't wanna have any like bone dry pieces of bread and you don't necessarily want the bread to be completely soaked through either. So just turn it around and make sure it has nice coverage. All you have to do is wash your hands afterwards and it'll be okay. Now we're gonna gently, you could spoon this in or just plop it in like I am. All that custard got soaked up. One thing I like to do my one finicky part of this is just to arrange some of the crust sides up so you have a little bit of, it'll look prettier. If you see any like dry pieces of bread, just tuck them underneath and the custard will soak through. Just like that. Right now I have a nice even-ish layer. We're just gonna cut two tablespoons of butter and use the rest. <laughs> This is cold, so we're just gonna dot it on top. It'll add a lot of just extra richness and the bread will almost fry up in the butter on top, which will be nice and crispy, but delicious. Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Rewind. Our brown sugar topping goes underneath the butter, so just sprinkle it on top. Just like when you cut it up, everyone gets some brown sugar. It doesn't have to be a perfectly even layer. Mmm. Now, we're gonna dot it with butter. Oh, it's a quarter cup of butter, not six tablespoons. <laughs> Listen, it's early in the morning, that coffee is only halfway done. One quarter cup of butter dotted on top. If you added six tablespoons, it still would have been good. I should have told you to preheat that oven at the beginning of this video, but we're gonna pop that in in a card or a little, little snippet. This is ready to pop into the oven 375 for about 30 minutes or until the custard is set and the top is golden brown. And then if you want some extra richness, of course we're gonna add maple syrup all over the top. Hmm. So good and so easy. Hope you get a chance to make this recipe and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this recipe, check out my breakfast playlist.